My first day in Tanzania is going to be very quick. Don't you worry, I'll be back to this beautiful country. But first, I need to use this transit visa to reach Rwanda before the rainy season. Oh, and please keep in mind that these videos are not posted in real times. let me re-explain everything. Yesterday I crossed the border with the French couple I was traveling with the past few days. We crossed the border at Mbala to get to Tanzania and then from Mbala we drove like three hours to get to the next town uh, which is Sumbawanga where I am now. We arrived at night, I mean you know it's winter time still so it was like 7 p.m but it was dark already and we couldn't find the campsite we wanted to uh, spend the night <laughs> so basically we met people randomly on the street and they were like oh we just live next door um, just come home just park your vehicles and stay for the night and then you can just continue your travel tomorrow morning and we were like feeling a bit embarrassed but like they seemed so you know happy to welcome us I was like okay so we accepted and I was like yeah I, I really like to be very honest I was a bit shocked but because like they very they are so generous like Tanzanian are I don't know, like African people are very nice but like those people yesterday like you know they don't know us and they were like so happy I felt very touched we spent the night there uh, I couldn't sleep very well because at the end the girls uh, they wanted to sleep with me you know in the same room so we were like six in the same room for two beds and you know, like me, I'm a bit, you know, weird during the night. I need to like my earplugs and my eye mask and everything. So I'm weird. Anyway, it was a, such a wonderful experience, right? I'm here for that. So today I'm a bit, you know, I, I was supposed to drive seven hours and then I was like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't drive <laughs> this much today. So I decided to stay in another town on the way to Rwanda because um, I'm just transiting here, right? I've got just seven days of transit here in Tanzania. So I just drove like an hour or something and this is just a very cute, you know, hotel. I don't know if you can see. It's not even a hotel. It's um, I don't I don't really know, but very typical, I guess. And this is so. I think it's a yeah. It's a Muslim area here, and this is so cute. So I'm going to be. Uh, I need a good night of rest of sleep tonight, and then I can be on back on the road again tomorrow. I was so fresh and relaxed after this Tanzanian shower and it feels so good to be on my own again. Now, let's have a peaceful night of sleep before I hit the road tomorrow. Salut mon Rafiki. Il est prêt. I'm taking my lunch for today. 
so typical. I love it so much. going to be a gravel road <laughs> for the next six hours I lost you for the next six hours I think it's going to be shaking <laughs> Even though I'm rushing to Rwanda, I enjoy the landscape of Tanzania very much. Endless wilderness decorated by this very special orange color of the soil. Here, driving through the bush, my love for the African continent gets stronger and stronger. And I'm so happy to bring you with me. I need to show you something. You know those tires? I saw maybe like 20 of them so far um, it's stressful
I maybe don't use the best tools to record this adventure. And to be very honest with you, I'm not looking to make the best videos with the most beautiful images or to create sensational titles and else. I genuinely want to share what I get to see, but especially how my heart deep inside is feeling at every single step of the expedition of my life. Because I decided to travel Africa for many reasons. The biggest one is to show you this Africa we don't see on TV. This Africa which stole my heart a few years ago. This Africa the rest of the world needs to consider, to respect and to cherish once for all. And the way we cherish a treasure. We do not teach Africa, but Africa teaches us. And it has the power to teach us so much, much more than you can imagine. Believe me. I wish everybody can step on the African soil to feel, to understand that we all come from Mama Africa and that it's time to let her breathe. And sometimes, in the middle of nowhere, you have this. And I'm so not happy because remember the zip is broken. So the tent just like the cover just can't, you know, close properly. <laughs> And um, remember, I broke one, there were like two straps and one broke because of the snow and ice during the first part of the trip. So now it's only maintained with one strap, no zip anymore, nothing, it's just open. Mm -hmm. 